Hello and welcome back to another Magician's video. So today we'll be discussing Feb, February 2022 recall and give you some helpful tips for the upcoming exams. And hopefully that will bring you one step closer to passing uh, the PLAB 1 exam. Alright, so let's dive right into the video. Before we discuss the question, please take 50 seconds to pause the video and comment the answer down below. Okay, so here's the question. A 28-year-old woman is prepared to undergo laparoscopic surgical management for uterine fibromas. Patient is being put in the lithotomy position with her head tilt down. Uh, induction of anesthesia has begun and the patient's abdomen is inflated uh, for better visualization. And a moment after this, her vitals start to deteriorate. Pulse is decreased to 40 beats per minute, respiratory rate is at 20, and the blood pressure is um, 80 over 30. What is the single most appropriate next course of action? Anybody can guess the right answer? So the correct answer here is deflate the abdomen. Okay, we'll see why that is the correct answer and why all the other options are wrong. But before we do that, Please don't forget to smash that like button. Wouldn't even take a second. And comment down below on any other topics that you'd like us to cover in our next video and the upcoming videos. Make sure to also check out the reviews from our past PLAB1 candidates. Uh, the link is in the description below. Alright, so back to the question. As I said before, the correct answer is deflate the abdomen. So why is that the case? Now usually in laparoscopic surgery, the trocar uh, is inserted below the umbilicus to induce pneumoperitoneum. You just fill it up with gas. This is for better visualization and convenience so that the surgeons have more space uh, to uh, perform the surgery. All right, so this is done during uh, this is done using carbon dioxide, and it leads to increased abdominal pressure, and then stretching of the peritoneal cavity. Now, in turn, this leads to um, side effects like bradycardia and hypotension because it's done so rapidly, and the vagus nerve stimulated, which also leads to a cardiovascular reflex. All right, so that is why this patient. Is that is what the patient is experiencing and deflating the abdomen would reverse this effect. So why not inject intramuscular adrenaline? Simply put, she is not experiencing an anaphylactic reaction. Therefore, that is incorrect. Alright, so what about tilting the head back up? Tilting her head back up can help, but the examiners are trying to make the candidates aware of the effect this process or the introduction of flow of gas into a body cavity also known as insufflation on a patient's vagus nerve and the cardiovascular reflexidemics all right so that is uh, not the correct answer here and why not inject intravenous atropine now the next best step as asked in the question is deflating the abdomen okay and uh, that is done before considering atropine now if it's not resolved then atropine can be used of course to resolve the bradycardia okay and uh, lastly positioning her on the lateral side now there is no evidence to support that repositioning her onto the lateral position would be of any help here therefore out of all the uh, out of all the options reflecting her abdomen is the best answer Alright, so I hope that uh, explanation was clear for all of you and good luck with your exams. Um, make sure to also check out our Med Revisions platform for more questions like this, for new questions, uh, for past exams and other high yield topics as well as some rare questions that you might come across in your exam. Thanks for watching. 
This video was brought to you by MedRevisions, your go-to resource for PLAB Part 1. Complete your revision with MedRevision.